let's make the bench. Start by putting your reference image as the viewport background. Let's get started by making the legs. Use the line tool to make a shape like this. Now give it a rectangular profile. Okay, convert to editable poly now. Flatten the sand by scaling it down the y axis and scale it a little bit smaller. Now make the leg taper gradually. Delete the top and bottom polygons. Now select one of these edges and press ring and loop and chamfer the resulting selection. Press OK and add Turbo Smooth. Now add the Cap Holes modifier. looks a bit too thick, so let's make it a bit thinner. Like this. Go to the top viewport and make a copy over here. I don't know the precise dimensions of this bench, so we're gonna have to do it by eye. I think that's okay. And mirror to the other side. like this. Now create a box over here. Convert to editable poly and adjust the size. Like this. Now select these edges and connect them. Scale this resulting edge loop smaller, just vertically. Add some more edges here, and here. just like this. Now 
Now select this edge loop and chamfer it. Okay. Now add a symmetry modifier. Go back to editable poly level and select these edges. Let's connect them with three segments and increase the pinch value like this. Okay, let's add turbo smooth. This part is a little bit too rounded over here. So let's fix that. Select these polygons and insert them. Press OK. Much better. bevel them out a little bit. Use a small height value and decrease the outline amount. Select this edge over here, press loop and extrude it in. back out again. You can see we have a nice seam going on now. Now we need to make this corner a bit sharper. To do that select these edges, press ring, and connect. Change the segments to one and slide them down like this. Okay. Now select these edges and move them back up. And a little bit out. Like this. Looks good. Maybe let's just fix this part over here. Just smooth it out a little bit. Like this. And let's smooth this part as well. Move this up and back. Okay, just some final touches, move this out, I think the surface looks good. Let's scale it to match the legs. this. And let's create these side parts here. Create the box. Convert to editable poly. Add some more edges and adjust the shape.
increase the size from the top view like this select these edges, press connect and slide it down like this. Now select this edge ring, press connect, change the segments to 2, set slide to 0 and increase pinch value. Okay. Select these vertices, scale them closer to the center, let's move these manually. And let's add one more edge loop over here. all these polygons and use inset tool. First let's move these up a little bit. the bevel tool. And decrease the outline like this. Let's fix this mess over here. Oof. Let's use target weld for this. everything else so we can see better and just weld these vertices like this go to the top view select these edges connect and slide it down See how it looks with Turbo Smooth applied. Okay, let's add the seam here. Select this edge loop and extrude it in. Just like this. Press OK and extrude it back out. Looks good, except this part over here. We'll fix that like this. Use the cut tool and cut in edges like this. Now remove these over here and get rid of this vertex that is left behind. Okay, that is now looking good. Maybe let's bring out the center a little more.
that's okay. Let's make sure these fit together. And copy this element over to the other side. Make an instance. Okay. Let's give it a symmetry modifier. And add edit poly modifier on top of symmetry. Select the center edge loop here and extrude it out like this. And increase the width. And add symmetry for this one as well. That's our bench.